In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take some footage from an everyday object like this reading light and turn it into your own custom transition like this light leak transition that I created from it. So to start, I'm just going to use this reading light I have. I suppose you could use any sort of object that you have laying around that produces some kind of light. The settings that I'm going to use on the camera are going to be a pretty low ISO and a high shutter speed just so that all we get is the bright light against the dark background. And this is what my footage looks like that I've captured just sort of waving it around. Once I bring that into Premiere, this is what that footage looks like and we really don't have to do much to it. All I'm gonna do is take a little slice out of that footage where we get one complete wipe. So I did many, you know, I could do many different cuts from this. But if I just zoom in here and uh, I can just use my arrow keys to go frame by frame, I can just find one where, just like this, where I go all the way from left to right and I can cut that out. And if I grab my move tool or just press V and uh, command C just to copy that little slice or just move this little slice around, what I'm gonna do once I grab a slice is basically just take two clips that are next to each other and paste or drag that slice on top of them. So this is what that should look like on normal blending mode. And then all we're gonna do to make this a transition is go to the effect controls panel and adjust the blending mode to something like lighten or screen. And this will just brighten things up. And now if I press play, we get this cool cross dissolve. And because everything is so bright at the point that the cut happens, it's pretty seamless. If you really wanted, you could also just add a simple default transition or like a cross dissolve in between the two clips. So I'll just make sure this is in between and just shorten that little transition tape up a lot. So that's sort of an unnecessary step, but now we also get a slight fade as well. You can't really tell the difference in this case, but not only can you put it on screen, I mean, you could play around with color dodge or other ones. And once you have this base light leak, there's no reason that I couldn't do something like go into the Lumetri color panel and change this to a different color. So if I go into the curves, and go to the hue saturation curves and go to the hue versus hue, I can just sort of change the color of this transition to be anything I want. So let's do like a blue light leak. And this is what that would look like. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out hundreds of more similar videos in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.